Are you filling up your own cup so that you can give to others? Did you know that a non-negotiable well-being practice is an absolutely key component to you actually being able to give to others as much as you possibly want to? Watch this Mindset Makeover to find out more, find out some tips, find out some strategies and find out some of the things that you can do to take care of yourself to the best of your abilities. And be sure to like this video if it has resonated, be sure to share it with your friends and subscribe as well for future videos. Blazers, Layla here with your Mindset Makeover for this week and in this week's one we are talking all about non-negotiable well-being practices. This, is, this uh, Mindset Makeover has actually been inspired by a couple of people that I've been speaking to this week and I've just done a podcast interview with an amazing Hay House author called Alex Levi and uh, one of the things that we talked about is how we can take care of ourselves through our kind of daily practices. And this daily practice must be grounded in self-care, self-love, you know, well-being for oneself. So I actually do write about it in my book, One One Plus Ways to Overcome Life's Biggest Obstacles. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to find out which strategy it is, as quickly as I want but um, the strategy is in here and essentially what it is is that you decide what is what non-negotiable behaviors or activities you are going to implement into your day-to-day -day life with the intention to take care of yourself and with the intention to give yourself some you time right because I don't know about you but maybe you give and give and give of yourself to others, right? And they really appreciate it, or actually maybe they don't always appreciate it, but they know that if they were to ever ask you for something, that you would always be willing to give. And being that nice person, uh, at some point will always deplete your energy, because when you're giving and giving and giving, if you are not creating the space to receive and if you're not creating the um you know like the boundaries to say no then all you're going to be doing is giving and being left with nothing at all for yourself right um and i think this is really important to acknowledge because when we give of ourselves to others so much we're going to come to a point where we're going to like come against a wall or we're going to crash and burn and we don't want to do that because that's not self-love, that's not self-care. A non-negotiable practice requires for you to say, okay, this is how I'm going to be taking care of myself because this is what I really enjoy and this lifts me up and allows me to feel good and it allows me to connect with myself and it... Um, it's one small way of saying I matter to me and from this space I can give to others. So my non-negotiable practice is every morning, like to the very best of my abilities, like nine times out of ten, I always get this done. I will get up, I have um, you know, a shower, have a nice breakfast, and what I do is I then go and meditate. And I meditate for between 11 minutes, 11 to 20 minutes. And I use that time to actually go through my Gratitude and Miracles meditation, which you can find on my YouTube channel. Um, just type in bit.ly forward slash Layla Khan dash YouTube to find that meditation. And I follow this process of gratitude for... Uh, for whatever comes through for me and um, I do this meditation I do some breath work and then I do some affirmations so I write some affirmations to really keep my mindset on point and to stay focused on abundance and stay focused on well-being and courage and manifesting more of a life of my dreams right and so I follow this process every single day. Now I also have added in there, um, ed uh, sorry, exercise. So I make sure that pretty much like five times, you know, five days a week, I will go and exercise. And I'll either go to the gym 
or I'll do a class or I'll um, play badminton or tennis with a friend or I'll do some kickboxing or whatever it might be. But whatever I can do first thing in the morning exercise with like stays as part of my non-negotiable well-being practice. So I make sure I have a nice breakfast, um, I meditate, I write my, I do some breath work, I write my affirmations and then I go and exercise. And that might take definitely for sure a couple of hours. Um, but what it does is it sets me up for the rest of the day because I have used that time first thing in the morning to meet my own well-being needs because it's no one else's responsibility to take care of my heart and soul. It's no one else's responsibility to take care of my body, to make sure that I'm fit and that I've got a healthy heart and that, you know, that I'm I'm taking care of myself to the best that I possibly can. It's no one else's responsibility and the same goes for you. It's your responsibility to ensure that you're taking care of your emotional needs, your well your mental well-being, your mental health your physical well-being, your spiritual well-being, like it's your responsibility. And taking out the heaviness of this word responsibility, it's a pleasure, it's a joy to be able to connect to oneself, right? To be able to connect to who you are and to learn more of who you are and to love yourself and take care of yourself, um, you know, in a way that nobody else can, right? Because then what happens, this is a magic, right? And this is why a non-negotiable practice is so important. It's because you, uh, when you fill up your own cup through this kind of practice, you're able to give to others from an overflow. Sorry. <laughs> you're able to give to others from an overflow. And in order to, to really be there for others and to show up in this world as your best self, You've got to be able to say, do you know what? I matter. I'm showing up for myself so that I can give everybody everything that they deeply desire from an energetic point of view, for sure, um, because you've met your own needs for start uh, to start off with, right? It feels so good to be able to start the day that way because... You're saying, yeah, you know what, I do matter, I matter, my well-being matters, and it takes off pressure of, of anybody else to feel any kind of codependent needs, any neediness, any clinginess, any insecurity. You actually start to heal all of that when you go through a spiritual practice like this, a well-being practice like this. So I would love to know, what kind of ideas have you gained from this video? that you would like to implement into your own daily practice. Now you can be any age, it doesn't even matter what your age is, it doesn't have to do anything to do with like being deeply spiritual at all, you know, to implement something like this. Um, but let me know, what are the things in your day-to-day -day life or your week that are non-negotiables that you do for yourself? And if you're not quite sure, what would you like them to be? What kind of things would you like to do for yourself uh, to take care of yourself and to show uh, some self-love as well? I'd love to hear all about it. So please do post below, um, share your messages, share your questions as well. Like this video if this video has given you some aha moments or if it's resonated, share it with your network and do subscribe because there are more videos coming up every single week to help you to step into your abundance. And remember, life is today for you to step into your abundance unapologetically, boldly and courageously. This is your life, make the most of it. I would love to hear from you, so please do post below and I'll connect with you on the next Mindset Makeup.